partners with me. Um, it is 5.35 a.m. And it is day one in the park. We just entered Yellowstone National Park for the first time. Um, we are, our goal this morning is wolves. And that is why we are really, really early. Um, because the wolves um, have been bedded down by 7.30ish. <laughs> eight o'clock every morning so we got to get up when they're moving um, which means we need to be kind of in when the first break of dawn begins we saw two wolf pups um three of the four of us saw two wolf pups um and we saw them for i feel like i saw them for like literally three or four seconds partially because i wanted to get the girls on and i did not see them but it's the first day Ella, what did you see this morning wolves lots of wolves we've been here since I know, it was awesome, wasn't it? And that's a wolf, and that's a wolf. Is your wolf cup Honey, what did you see? Uh, well, I'm still watching the wolves play. Um, so there are pups. Yeah, there are pups, so every time an adult comes in, they either want food or they want to wrestle. Um, I, it's super it, awesome honestly, to watch. my wolf cup is full. It is... Um, we said yesterday that we have seen a wolf, we, we've seen wolves, but we haven't really gotten to watch like them. Yeah. What, what we, part of what we like about wildlife is not just seeing creatures and checking off, but watching their behavior. And today we've seen a multiple different behaviors. And it's that's been really awesome. Cool. Yeah, a wolf cup will never be full. <laughs> we have watched, what do we think we've seen? 14 wolves? Six pups? We definitely have seen a lot of wolves. We have seen them play, we have seen them feed the pups, we have seen them poop, we have seen them celebrate when they revisit each other. It's not a bad place to spend the morning. did see them. Um, I think it's very funny that the first animals, the very first official animals on our animal spotting list this year are Canada geese. <laughs> I find that super entertaining. We, we did hear sand hills. We've seen a raven or two. We have seen a raven or two. So here we go. Off to see what else we can find. We have had the first of Buffalo jams, although it wasn't like a full on traffic jam. Just one decided he was going to cross the street and they have the right of way. people pulled over on the side of the road yeah. so we stopped and what did we see the buffalo on the near hill it... there's yeah. a bear and that's our first bear and gracie actually got it on the scope 
and she has it. Um, she's for scale. The bear we're looking at is right over there, way over there. So. Hey, my friend. Yeah, our first black bear and Gracie has the digi digiscoping gear going so we um, we can actually show you and it's kind of fun he's eating and pushing rocks around and such so it's cool we did see a fox today Um, there is an elk right there and Ella spotted it um, and that's what it's like to spot like wild life. It's an elk but it could have been a moose and Darren would never forgive us if we had given us if we missed a moose. So. All in all I think it was an awesome day. Oh, the buffalo story so we were looking at waterfall and honestly everybody stops everybody asks you what you're looking at and most people are kind and just share what they're seeing um, but you know they're looking for bears and fancy stuff right <laughs> and we were looking at ducks <laughs> so and we have both the scopes out yeah and my camera and because we found some interesting things that we were, and a buffalo went past, like, and we were up high. The, was the road was up high above the pond, and then there was a buffalo when, down yeah, we right below us, and then it crossed the road, and it was behind us. Then a woman comes past us. She goes, there's a buffalo right there. And Darren looks at her and goes, thanks, yep, we see it. And of course, we don't turn around. She's like, it's right there, do you see it? Because she was so excited and she wanted to make sure that we got to see it and the people do help each other. So, when you have your kids with you and you can't find any animals, which has not been our problem today, you come to Mammoth and always find elk. Eventually we made it to Hayden Valley and it was dead. <laughs> we saw a bald eagle, we saw some trumpeter swans, we saw a bunch of geese, we saw, really big bull. We saw some ducks and then we left there and we had dinner. Then we left there and on the way we stopped and there was actually a bull elk bedded down across the river so we got to see that and then a little bit further down from that we saw a herd of a couple of females with their babies, so that was pretty really awesome. And now we're headed back home. Darren, what is out there? Uh, there are two moose over there. 
This is the first time. In and it's so dark that floor. I can't show you where it is. But can you see him? This morning we went through Lamar Valley and Darren spotted a black wolf, which may or may not be the alpha of the Junction View pack. And it was actually pretty close, so that was awesome. And we've seen buffalo and pronghorn and a couple of bull elk that were way up high and not super visible. Um, so we are hunting for bears. And right now we're stopping where we saw the moose the other day. So that is the current status. Where are the bears? Oh, oh, look at him go. There's a lot of buffalo down there, huh? Good morning, Darren. Good morning. I still sound a little out of breath. <clears throat> we had to hike uphill at altitude. I really like mountain lakes. Really yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. I mean, this one has a trail all the way around it, so you almost always see people, but that's okay. It's just very picturesque and also that's where we came from tall tall trees and Darren looking at birds Welcome to Baronet Peak. And Baronet Peak is the best place in the park to see mountain goats. And there is, there are some right up here. A mom and her little baby. You need a scope, but it's virtually guaranteed that you will find mountain goats when you come to Baronet Peak. I, we've been here a lot. I have never seen a giant buffalo cross the river like that. Apparently they can swim.
them. There's some over here too. Can always be counted on to find that stuff in my mind. 